Are you serious? You better get some coffee and calm down. 13,000 witches? Are you serious? That's what happened last night at the stroke of midnight. 13,000 witches came together worldwide online on the summer solstice to curse President Donald Trump. That's what they did, folks. Can you imagine we're living in this kind of medieval times? This is barbaric. Well, <clears throat> there's some information. Satanism is making a comeback. I don't think it ever went away. Matter of fact, that's, I think it's just simply they're intensifying. Uh, that is the headline. Satanism making a comeback through witchcraft and atheism, according to a rabbi in Israel. Uh, at the stroke of midnight last night, 13,000 people uh, connected via internet and yet another attempt to cast a curse on the president, Donald J. Trump, of the United States of America. I mean, are you serious? This is insanity. Um, though the spell casting may seem too absurd to, to be taken seriously by some, uh, the rabbis in authority, maintains that the witches are tapping into the Satanism, a disturbing theology, making a strong uh, comeback openly. They've been always around, guys. They've been around forever. Satanism, the occultism, soothsayers, tarot card readers, palm readers, crystal ball gazers. I mean, are you serious? And we're talking about witches' covens and sorcerers and warlocks and wizards and hoodoo and voodoo and who do you think you're fooling? I mean, all of this has been going on. Paganistic worship, Stonehenge, had a bunch of people coming unhinged during the summer solstice. But the witches uh, got together last night. Now, now you want to know why. Let me just look into the camera. Let me look you in the eye. The reason God, seven years ago, told me to go online and to start gathering people from around the globe, preaching the end time message of the coming king, is because these, the demons of hell are going to do the same thing, but they're not going to be teaching of the coming of Jesus Christ. They're going to be teaching the rise of the Antichrist, and they're going to bring curses, and they're going to train people in spell binding. And they're going to come into a spiritual realm against the body of Christ. And we've got to stop the fluffy, puffy, marshmallow message preaching. The padded pew parishioner needs more than a pansy in the pulpit. We need some absolute prophetic word of God, powerfully anointed, some preaching of the word to help people understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness. In high places. Well, that's what's going on. These secret societies like Bilderberg and the Bohemian Grove and the Skull and Bones and even the, the, some of the Messianic groups, man, the Masons, and a whole lot of other occultists and covens and warlocks and wizards and sorcerers and, and uh, uh, psychics and uh, are you serious remote viewing and clairvoyance and what seers i mean all of these guys and, and women and mediums and chandlers and gurus i mean and folks wake up the reality here so they're trying to curse the president of the united states this is why we need the body of christ to pray in the power of the Holy Ghost, pray for the, uh, for the pastor. Yeah, pray for the pastor. Please pray for your pastor. Pray for the president of the United States. Pray, one, pray ye one for another. And start being in the power of agreement. See, we got to fight this thing in the spirit world, not in the flesh. you got to understand, you have the power. These people have no authority over you if you know what you're doing. But if you're just walking around oblivious to the reality of that they even exist and that's the problem we most of our churches won't even preach on the fact that there's demon spirits and people operating in spirit of witchcraft and the spirit of rebellion which is the sin of witchcraft same thing when you see a rebellion rise up in your church or rise up among your people it's the spirit of witchcraft they don't even know they're in it some of them have been be, betwixt themselves they've been fooled by someone else they don't have enough word in them 
They lose confidence in their leadership, their pastor, their leadership of their church, or their, or their president, or whatever else it is, or their leaders. And they can't see because they're blinded by the demon spirits that are operating. Here's what God said to do. I want you to go to Deuteronomy 18. I know I'm preaching right. We must be in a time. Well, we're in a high witchcraft, uh, high satanic time right now. So I'm just going to take that down, just tear them down right now. Here's what it says in Deuteronomy. Go to the word. Deuteronomy chapter 18. Deuteronomy 18, verse 9. When thou art coming to the land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, Thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. Don't learn it. Don't even learn what they're doing. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter to pass through the fire. That's what they did in Moloch. Sacrifice their children to the god Moloch. Or that uses divination. Or an observer of times. Or an enchanter. Or a witch or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God, for these nations which thou shalt possess hearken unto the observers of times and unto di divining, uh, 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 divinations. But as for thee, the Lord thy God hath not suffered thee so to do. The Lord thy God will raise up a, a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, and unto him ye shall hearken. Don't be listening to these, uh, uh, s s all of the satanic occultist, you know, people who talk to the dead, crossing over. Remember that guy, John Edwards? He was always crossing over and he got these other medium in New Jersey or wherever they're at. Folks, Long Island medium. Stay away from people that are doing these types of satanic abominations, seances, Ouija boards. Folks, I wrote a book called Zombie Apocalypse. I talk about all these people being demonically possessed with all kinds of different demon spirits, including the, the zombie spirit, which is really the spirit of Legion from the Bible in Mark 5. The same characteristics that Legion had, this zombie apocalypse spirit, it's spirit of cannibalism, it's a spirit of biting people, superhuman strength, stripping down naked, quoting scriptures, jumping out of buildings, uh, very, t very difficult to, to uh, contain people biting each other. I mean, really weird stuff. Look, folks, it's been going on. It's a demons. It's a legions of demons.